Hello everyone, welcome to our learning series of how to use Unreal Engine for architectural visualization. In this video, we're gonna finalize our ray trace section with how to optimize it for our project for the purpose of real-time presentation without losing too much of the frame per second. As we have seen from our, our previous video, that every time we enable some of the ray trace features, our frame drop down to even 7 frames per second, which makes it difficult for real-time presentation using ray trace. In this video, we're going to learn how to compensate some of the ray trace features by mixing up light baking with the ray trace on. So, the first thing we're going to start with is to compensate the skylight and the global illumination. So, we have turned all of the ray trace features. So, if you want to see uh, how the reflection is going to go, as you can see, it's looking a little bit fuzzy. That means it's not active and I have closed all the other features such as the skylight and the global illumination to start uh, everything from uh, the beginning. So let's start by hiding this foliage system just so we can focus on the building and I'm gonna drop down the direction light to zero and as you can see now the skylight is not even affecting our uh, scene because we have turned off the skylight uh, ray trace uh, feature off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bake our lighting for uh, from the HDRI into our scene and then come back after it's finished and start to see how our scene is gonna uh, look like but it's very important to remove any sun effect in your HDRI so this is our HDRI that we have used uh, since the beginning for this uh, specific project all I did is just dropped it inside Photoshop and bring a little bit of uh, clouds in front of the sky so we don't see any sharp shadows coming from the skylight. We just need the ambience actually from the skylight. So this is just for the purpose of this example and now I'm going to hit uh, build to see how uh, the effects going to go. So I'm going to come back when the build will finish. Okay, so now that the lighting build have finished, as we can see the skylight have given us some uh, ambient uh, effect on our uh, example here now it's time to start activating some of the ray trace features that we will uh, need uh, in order to uh, uh, mix it up with the uh, whatever is the result we had from the lighting bay so to start uh, i'm going to use the direction light to increase it and let's do it let's 45 and the direction light is actually be, uh, representing um, a real-time uh, lighting effect so if I'm putting this on the stationary and I'm activating the ray trace if I'm uh, rotating the Sun this will not change how the quality will look because this is the actually the 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 good thing about the ray trace you're gonna keep getting uh, uh, the same result so even if you put it to a movable you will not get the message that uh, your lighting need to be built uh, so this is one way to um, mix the skylight with the direction light without having to activate the skylight from the ray trace. So the second thing we're going to do is we're going to need to uh, activate the reflection and the translucency. So if you remember we have been using the reflection plane to uh, help us get a better reflection uh, in our example but this is also one of the the items that cost uh, a little bit slowness on the frame per second so I'm gonna delete this and uh, I'm gonna compensate this with the ray trace reflection and the translucency so if you can see now that we don't have any clear reflection of our uh, chairs on the glass so I'm gonna bring the outlook uh, output log and then I'm gonna bring uh, the console command ray tracing and reflection I'm gonna put this to one and let's see if our reflection came okay so now the reflection is looking clear the next thing is gonna we're gonna bring the translucency so we can get the reflection on the glass sorry the effect of the glass the translucency I'm gonna bring this to one and this is one of the great advantage of the ray trace that we don't need actually uh, a planet reflection to get the reflection of the of any items or any objects in front of the glass so now that we have uh, the reflection and the translucency as you can see our frame rate per second even if we bring uh, back the sorry 
if we bring uh, our foliage system we still can manage to have like 30 frames per second and some of the areas that doesn't consume much power of the of the um, uh, frame per second so now that we have our uh, project ready and uh, we can start actually manipulating um, some of the the features inside the post process like the shadows for example if you write here shadow we can start actually enhancing the effect of the shadows and also some of the other um, uh, elements that we have learned how to uh, control them in our uh, post-production video we can see that our project have, be, have given us much better uh, performance when we mix, between, uh, mix the ray trace with the lighting build to compensate the skylight and the global illumination and also the ambient occlusion so another cool thing that we can also uh, take advantage of the ray trace is the dynamic uh, lighting direction during runtime. We can actually build a small widget tool, a slider, and um, change the direction of the sun in real time to have, for example, a shadow study of our, let's say, for, for our canopy uh, ob object here. And to do that, I'm going to remove our uh, directional sun and I'm bringing the sun in the sky in our example and we don't need actually uh, most of the items like the sky atmosphere and I'm gonna uh, disable the visibility of it and also for the skylight we already have our uh, HDRI so I'm gonna close this to, uh, to not get an effect on our project and bring the intensity of the direction of the direction light a little bit down so I'm just waiting till the exposure hit back and this is now if we also bring our temperature to let's say 4 700 we're gonna get a little bit of uh, yellowish effect in our scene so let's see how we can also uh, get take advantage of the direction light uh, by using a widget uh, to enable uh, the movement of the Sun by using a slider so I'm gonna go to our uh, widget folder and create uh, another widget let's say for example Sun uh, position and just a simple slider I'm gonna drag it here let's say for example here and call this Sun position and immediately we'll go to the graph let's drag this here and from the event construct I'm gonna drag our uh, common node that we have used is get all actors of class I'm gonna choose our uh, Sun and sky and then I'm gonna get a copy of this to minimize the cost of running the actors of class and promote this into a variable which we're gonna use to uh, for the slider and let's name this for example Sun direction okay let's connect this to the all actor of class and then let's bring our sun direction uh, variable and then get from this a node called update sun and we're gonna also call uh, a node to control the time of the sun so set solar time and for the slider we're gonna click on on value change because we want to change the values to control uh, the time of the Sun so I'm gonna drag from here map range clamped and this is basically let's say from uh, 0 to 1 and let's say we're gonna start from 6 o'clock to another 6 o'clock for 80 okay and we're gonna connect this to the solar time and for the Sun position and this for to update the Sun and let's combine so before we start we need to activate this widget to be visible in our runtime so I'm gonna go to the widget that we have created earlier and I'm gonna choose the Sun position compile and let's see so we're gonna play and see how if the Sun position will change so as you can see now the Sun direction is being changed in real time and this is actually helping us to uh, see how the Sun is affecting uh, our scene in terms of shadows and stuff. So one of the things that uh, we can notice now that the Sun is not showing uh, the animation of the 
of the leaves so this is can be easily uh, solved by going to let's say the sun the sky and choosing the direction light and just go through the ray trace activate this deactivate this you know get immediately uh, these uh, leaves to be animated and shadows so again if we hit play and we can see if we again change the direction of the Sun we can see a live calculation of the Sun direction and this will help actually a lot of uh, ArcVis uh, presentation projects and if you if you wanna for example uh, show a study of the shadows in real time using the advantage of uh, the ray trace combined with the light baking will help actually also to uh, better present your project and also help you to uh, minimize the amount of work uh, that you uh, need to do. So I hope this uh, approach of optimizing ray trace is acceptable from your point of view and how to uh, optimize the ray trace uh, by mixing this with the light baking to uh, disable the skylight ray trace and the global illumination and the ambient occlusion to get a better frame rate and real time with the availability of the sun for example dynamic direction and also the foliage animation so i hope this video uh, help you and how to uh, optimize your ray trace and again if you have any question please share it uh, down in the comments and uh, see you in the next video thank you very much